In this quick tutorial, I'll show you how to calculate the energy lost by a bullet passing through a mass. The question reads, consider a 10 gram bullet passing through a 3 kilogram block resting on a table. The velocity of the bullet is 400 meters per second on entering the block and 250 meters per second on exiting. For the first part, calculate the energy lost by the bullet in passing through the block. And in part B, if 30% of the energy loss is available to move the block along the surface with a coefficient of friction of 0.80, how far will the mass move? So let's come up with a plan on how we will do this. I'm thinking to start off by calculating the kinetic energy before the bullet hits the mass. Then find the kinetic energy after the bullet hits the mass and take its difference. That way we can calculate the difference in kinetic energies and answer question A. So let me write down the formula for kinetic energy. Remember, it is equal to the mass times the velocity raised to the power of 2 over 2. We'll begin with the initial kinetic energy. So the mass is in grams. It needs to be in kilograms because kinetic energy has the units joules and joules can be broken down into newtons times meters, and newtons is broken down into kilograms times meters per second squared. So our mass has to be in kilograms. So converting 10 grams into kilograms, you divide this by 1,000. If I divide this by 1,000, I should end up with 1.0 times 10 to the power of negative two kilograms, or 0.01 kilograms. You can use either of these to substitute into m. I'll use this one. So I have kinetic energy is equal to 0.01 times 400 meters per second. Remember that was the initial velocity and that's in kilograms divided by 2. Now using our calculator 0.01 times 400 raised to the power of 2 divided by 2 is 800 and that's 800 joules. That's the initial, now let's look at the final or after it has passed through the mass. Using the same format, 0.01 times, this time the speed is 250 raised to the power of two, and I'm not putting in the units because I know what the outcome will be, the units of the outcome. Now, 0 0.01 times 250 raised to the power of 2 divided by 2, and that is 312.5. I'll take the difference and I'll denote that as delta Ke, so the final minus the initial, 800 minus 312.5, and you should get an answer rounded to 488 joules. That answers question A, that is the energy lost by the bullet. To answer question B, if 30% of the energy lost, so 30% of this, is available to move the block along a surface with a coefficient of friction of 0 0.80, how far will it move? To calculate the work associated in pushing this mass, we use the formula work is equal to force times the displacement, which I'll represent as x. They're telling us in the question that 30% of this, so I'll take 488 times 0 0.30, let's find out what that is, that is equal to 146.4. So 146.4 joules is going to go into moving this mass. Now, this mass sits on a coefficient of friction of 0 0.80. Therefore, we need to multiply this by 0 0.80. Normally, we represent this as mu. So we multiply the work times mu, and that should help us find out what x is. The force can be calculated using mass times acceleration, and the acceleration is due to gravity, so the mass of the object was three kilograms, and the acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared. I'll move this expression so that we have more room. Multiply to x, and that's being multiplied to mu, which is 0 0.80, that's unitless. I'll find out the product of 3 times 9.8 times 0 0.80 so that I can eventually solve for x. 
3 times 9.8 times 0 0.80. That gives us 23.52. And I'll divide both sides by 23.52 to isolate for x. So after dividing both sides by this number, I'll take 146 decimal 4 divided by that number. And we end up with 6.2. 6.2 meters is how far this mass will move given the parameters discussed here. And there you have it. That is how to calculate the energy lost by a bullet passing through a mass.